Sports Wall Street Journal editorial board member Bill McGurn is here with us in the studio, as is Liz Peak, Fox News contributor, and Jim A. Wad, good market watcher, as well with us here in the studio. We'll get to the markets, Jim, in a moment. Bill, first on, on midterms, if right. I can start there, because we are literally a week out. Anything that you see as a big storyline that kind of throws us off, or is it, um, hey, Republican, Senate, Democratic House, that's what the markets and everybody else Well, I think that's, that's where it's going, although I think the recent polls over the weekend showed a slight softening in the Republican positions. But look, it's a week. It could go anywhere. Um, what strikes me about the Republican messaging is that the two issues that I think should be their biggest issues, reforming the health care system and uh, passing the tax cuts, yeah. um, they're, they're not used. In fact, they're being used against them it's by, funny, the, by the Democrats. It's funny, especially health care. Blake mentioned this last hour, and he's right. Health care is the number one issue for the Dems. Right. And they were able to use that in all their ads. Liz, I spent some time in just thinking Iowa, but other, other states as well throughout the year reporting on other stories. But anytime a political ad would come on, it was related to a Democratic candidate. Almost every time. It was health care. And Bill's right. You wouldn't you wouldn't have been able to predict that. Well, I, I think there are two things. One is the Republicans major majorly flopped on trying to uh, repeal and replace Obamacare, a central promise that they had talked about for seven years. So that was a pretty big embarrassment. Finally, they get Congress. They don't do anything with it. And yeah, there have been a lot of reforms passed, uh, you know, checks on the ACA and changes that I think are very beneficial, like small groups being able to band together to buy insurance. But it's all too complicated. I think what right. people see is that premiums are going up and they're blaming yeah, the you, Republicans for that. If you have a pre-existing condition, that's exactly right. you're not going to be covered anymore. And that message, that message works for Democrats. It's worked. I mean, totally. I don't know if it'll work next week, but it's been the one that's kind of resonated. What about, Jim, to Bill's other point, economics? That should be an advantage right. for Republicans, you would think, given, you know, notwithstanding these fluctuations that we've seen right. in recent weeks in the markets, but we have a strong well, macro economy. The economy, to say the economy is strong is an understatement. Yeah. And I think uh, that will help the Republicans, particularly with independent, undecided voters who might not like Trump or might not, or on issues is split between the Democrats and the Republicans, and when finally gets to the poll, say, I'm, I'm going to vote with my pocketbook it's with my one, stomach. There's one third. Carl Rove uh, was talking about that yesterday. I know I interviewed him here, and I'm sure he said it yeah. other places. Like Two thirds of Trump supporters love him, period. They right. love the person, they love the policies, and there's one third that like the policies. They, yeah. they don't then, necessarily love the guy, but they like the policies. And then there are the independents, uh, uh, who really, in many cases, or the swing vote, yeah. uh, who, who like the economy, maybe not some of the Trump's non-economic policies, but they like the way the economy uh, is going. And to the extent that the economy is strong, it's going to help the uh, Republicans. The question is, is that enough, um, given all the other issues? Exactly. Given the, the idea that it probably was prepositioned here, at least on the House side, for the Republicans to have a tough year. Before I talk more about economic issues, Bill, I mean, we'll bring up trade here in a second and maybe even the stock market uh, decline. What about immigration? That uh, it, it is a huge political issue. Right. And we talked last hour about how that's number one for many Republicans. You have this caravan story and right. the president's deploying troops. Caravan's not really near the border, but he's deploying troops. And then right. he gives this interview to Axios uh, this morning as well, uh, bringing up another I uh, issue, birthright right. citizenship. What do you make of all this? Well, look, I, I think a lot of Republicans are hoping in the House that the caravan carries them through on Election Day. Uh, it's it's a strong issue. Immigration can be a different issue. You know, it can play. A couple months ago, it played out to Republican heartlessness, breaking up families and so forth. But now it plays, I think, to the Republican advantage on lawlessness. Yeah. Now, I, I don't think it's enough um, for the Republicans. I think people don't like the idea of a, a lawless group just going to bum rush the border. I, I think that helps them. Right. But, you know, we're talking about the strong economy. One of the problems that, that I think we have with the Republicans is they haven't taken credit for it. In why, other words, why they haven't tied it to yeah. the tax cuts. The tax cut messaging has has not worked well. An internal poll for the RNC showed that last month. They, they should be saying this didn't happen by accident. You know, it right. happened largely because we got together and passed these cuts. And I think they'd be in a stronger position if they were leading with that. Instead, they seem to be afraid of it. In my district, New Jersey 11th, uh, we have good Republican candidate Jay Weber running, tax yeah. cutter and everything. His opponent is claiming that the tax cuts were a tax hike because of the salt 
deductions course, and so in, forth. In New Jersey in a high tax Right, state. but that's yeah. because we've lost the messaging on that, I think. Wait, real quick, Liz, what do you think of that? Because I think Bill's right that the messaging I think it's hasn't crazy. Been, I think well, it's crazy. Yeah. And Republican strategists for six months have been saying, talk about the economy, talk about the tax cuts. I honestly think some people don't know how to connect those dots. Mm -hmm. And the, Demo the Democrats have done a fabulous job of demagoguing it as being only for the wealthy right. and for corporations. And there are so many other issues centered around this election that are non-economic issues that people are going to have to sort out uh, emotional to, issues emotional issues you know as you said the immigration issue yeah. the inequality issue uh, the divisive, divisiveness issue yeah. uh, and and it's going to come down to to the, the two bases turning out and who's stronger and uh, uh, you won't know until the last uh, 24 hours uh, uh, before the election